YouTube, YouTube, I forgot. I had said I was going to do this video, uh, but then I was having those computer issues. I had to take my brand new computer back again. Uh, on priority now. I wanted to talk about my, my chart setup so some of you guys know what the heck I'm, I'm looking at and what I'm doing. Uh, I wanted to have OBS up so I could screen share. So I'm just going to put the video out. You, you can set it up yourself so that when you're watching me, you can kind of understand what I'm looking at because I have to constantly remind people like what, what charts I'm using. So when I look at any stock, I use either the, I, I try to stick to the five minute, okay? But it also could potentially be moving with the three minute. So we have the five minute and the three minute. And that's more like when I'm gonna be executing my trades, it's probably gonna be on one of those one of those two but I always have the 15 minute so 15 uh, going below it so I'll have like the, the three or five chances are it's the five but sometimes it's the three the three or the five and then the 15 one on top of the other and then in the background uh, I have the four hour to kind of give me a trending daily pattern but I could also get a larger view of the stock Sometimes I put that on a one day and I just go look at, you know, three years, five years, something like that. Um, but the day trading, okay, and, and then for making my plays, my entries, my exits, it's always the 3 and the 15, and the 15 changed my life. I don't know why I wasn't using 15 minutes before, but it's literally, I would never not use it now. You'd be foolish not to. And I know some of you are trading on your phone, so... That doesn't really seem ideal. You want to get serious about it. You want to get serious about your cash. You get yourself a few screens uh, and you load up some charts. At least two. You need two. One for trading and, and then news and information and then the other one so you can see multiple charts. I have a good Asus product. It's called the Zen Screen. Maybe I'll try to put a link or something in the video. I'll, I'll look at how that all crap works. That thing's sweet. I take it everywhere whenever I go. Uh, I got a sick-ass heavy stand for it, so it's always good on that front. And uh, it's ultra lightweight. It's so good. And then I just have another permanent monitor here. And um, and then my main laptop. And then I stream from the tablet because it's been becoming a little bit of a... It takes up too much real estate to stream with anything else. Okay? I need my... I'm a trader first. Streamer second, Okay? Um, but what I use for each chart, for each one, 3, 15, 4 hour, is I use the 13 extended moving average, and that's a green line. And then I use a 48 extended moving average, and that's a purple line. Um, I don't know, if you're colorblind, do whatever lines you want, okay? And for the 200, I use a nice red line, because that's like the bottom, that's, that's going to be hard support or strong resistance okay and then i have my rsi showing okay relative strength index that's just a typically a number between 25 and 75 okay you just watch my channel and you'll learn what each one is i'm just telling you the setup and then for the macd uh i yeah i have the macd on there okay let me see something here. Yeah, I just have it on a standard setting. It's 1226. But I guess if you want to have a more sensitive one, you would do 535. Uh, okay. So I just stick with the standard one because it's so far, it's pretty accurate. I, I like using that. I like what it what it's showing me. I just, I, that's what I wanted to double check is, do I even bother mentioning other than that? And then uh, you can add a volume one, okay? But my, my program, it has volume in the bar. And I use the bars and the, and the candle wicks to tell me volume typically. But you can add volume. You see a bunch of big volume come in. Uh, red, um, you know, that's big sell volume. You see big volume come in. Green, that's, you know, buy me now type thing, okay? Like ENDP on Friday on the four hour was a massive green bar to finish the day of volume okay so 13 
48,200 for your extended moving averages. You put the RSI on, you put the MACD under that because the RSI is like right now, and then the MACD is letting you know a trend. And then you can add volume in below that, okay? You, at l you don't necessarily need volume, but you definitely need the other six. And you need the five, the three and the five, which you can just alternate. You're not using both, you're just using one. The three and the five, and you'll know because you'll see the chart. You'll see the stock following one of those two, okay? And the 15. Within the background, you check out a four hour, and then when you have time, you check out like a daily. And uh, I just wanted to get that out there so you guys can get set up for this. If you can find free level two data, go ahead and get that. I don't know if it exists. I don't know in Canada, you got to pay for it. But if you do enough trades, it's free. It's $90. Um, but without it, you're running with a blindfold on. You're picking stocks with a blindfold. So I pay the 90 bucks, and I certainly do enough trading uh every month that i'm not paying for that anyways so that's irrelevant so that's what i got for you i'll put the description i'll put it in the description too and yeah we'll see you guys tomorrow